Welcome to Math Star, where your mission is to reach for the stars by learning and practicing your math skills. The goal of Math Star is to provide a workspace where you can practice and exercise your skills. Today I'm going to show you how to use and get around Math Star. Using Math Star on both the iPad and the iPhone is very similar, with some small differences. I'm going to show you Math Star on the iPad. I'm using Math Star Basic Pro, but you can be using any of the Math Star products. Math Star Basic Lite is the free version with the following limitations. Questions in level 1 are unlimited. Questions on all other levels are limited to 16 questions all together. And you cannot turn off the sound or on the sound on Math Star Lite. And the Pro version does not have any of these limitations. On the home page, there are several different options you can choose from. The different math sections, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Or you can choose getting started and talk to us. I'm going to select addition and then level 2. This area is called the workboard. Right now I want to highlight the different areas in the workboard. The main part is the question area. Here's where the questions are worked out and solved. One thing you might notice is Jerry the giraffe sometimes hiding part of the question area. If this happens, rotate your iPad or iPhone to find the best view. At the top we have the question line. Uh, which is written out in sentence form. On the right side of the display we have the number pad. Numbers can be entered into the workspace or the workboard with this. In addition to the numbers there are two other items of interest. The quick erase buttons along the top here and the check answer button. One of the most important spots in the workboard is the location highlighted with the yellow box. When you press a number, this is where the number will be placed in the workboard. The location of the yellow box is what we call the entry point. As you enter numbers in the workboard, you will notice the entry point is automatically moved to the next location where MathStar believes the next number needs to be entered. So in this case, we can enter 9 plus 5, which is 14, and so we can enter the 4, and we can see the 4 is entered, and MathStar automatically moves the the entry point over by one. The entry point can be changed at any time by pressing your finger on a new location. So we can do that by pressing here or here or here, but we can't press into the numbers because the questions uh, cannot be changed. In general, the entry point moves from left to right, but it will move from left to right in some in instances and we'll see examples of this as we uh, do more questions. So right now I'm going to work out this question and we'll have 9.5, uh, 9 plus 5 is 14 and what we can do is actually we can move up to here and we can put the 1, the carry, and it moves over into here because it knows that's the next location. So in this case 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. And then we can hit the check answer button. You are excellent. And then automatically, if the question's correct, it will go to a new question. And we can see 4 plus 3 is uh, 7. And 8 plus 4 is 12. And this is one of the cases where we can actually move the entry point over and we can key in 12. So 1, 2. And that's where the entry point moves from left to right and then hit the check answer button. Way to go! So let's do this one. 4 plus 3 is 7. 8 plus 3 is uh, 11. Rock on, dude! Now you'll notice that when you get an answer correct, uh, you'll know that by the big green check mark. If we just hit the check answer button, in this case, where the answer is wrong because we haven't entered anything, You're all we notice that we don't get the big green check mark and we don't go to the new question. Okay, let's do this one. 8 plus 5 is uh, 13, so we can move this here, add the carry. 1, 3. And uh, 1 plus 2 is 3, 
plus 7 is 10, and we can also move this over again if we like and enter 10. Truly amazing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the addition and show you something a little more complicated in the multiplication section, level 2. And this is, uh, wow, this is a little bit of an easy question, but 0 times 0 is 0. 0 times 9 is 0. And we're going to move down to the next location, add our 0 to bring us in line with the tens column. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 9 is 18, and we can do 1, 8. And then we're going to add this up, 0, 0, 8, 1. And we'll see that the number actually shifts up. And this row here allows you to add the carry for the addition, if necessary. And we can hit check answer. Rock on, dude. Okay. And this one here, 6 times 7 is 0. 6 times 5 is 35. And we can move that over 1 and key in 35 if we like. Go to the next line, add the 0. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 5 is 30. So 0, 3. And then we're going to add this up. 0, 5, 3, 3. Truly amazing. So right now I'm going to show you some of the quick erase functions on this question here. 3 times 4 is 12. And 3 times 5 is 16. And what we can do is we can erase a single digit if that was wrong. And we can put it back in. Uh, and we can also erase a single line. And we can do this again. So we got uh, 12 and 16. And we can go to the second line here, 0. Uh, 3 times 4 is 36, so 36. And let's say we want to erase the whole question in this case. We can actually hit the whole question erase. And uh, that are, puts it back to the beginning point. So let's, let's finish working this out. 3 times 4 is 12. Uh, 3 times 5 is uh, 15, plus 1 is 16. Go to the second line. Three, 9 times 4 is 36. And 9 times 5 is 40, plus 3, which is 43. And we can add this up. 2, the carry, 12. 6 plus 6 is 12. 1, 2. Uh, 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5, plus 4. Oh, so we got something wrong. Let's let's try this again. <laughs> 3 times 4 is 12. 1, 2. 3 times 5 is 15, plus the 1 is 16. Uh, 1 and 6. Add the 0. 9 times 4 is 36. And 9 times 5 is 45 plus the 3, which is 48. And I think that's where we made our mistake, 48, the first time. Let's add that up. 2, 6 plus 6 is 12, 1, 2. 1 plus 1 plus 8 is 10. 1, 0. 1 plus 4 is 5. Truly amazing. And that's been an introduction to MathStar.